Ladies and gentlemen, it has been two and a half years, believe it or not, since we took the itty bitty on the channel. We left you guys high and dry in the middle of the interior updates. I decided I didn't want to update you guys again until the boat was completely finished. Behind this blue tarp may or may not be a completely redone itty bitty. A month ago, the interior was completed. We've done some work, we'll show you in just a second. And it left us with just a couple little fiberglass things that needed to be touched up. And we needed an ice cream paint job to finish this thing on a high note. So we went to the one place that I knew could handle a job of this stature, the baddest of boys, Tim's Fiberglass Shop. Looks awesome, man. All right, good deal. Hoping you'd be happy with no, it. No, I'm stoked with it. It looks so clean. Yeah, yeah, it does. It looks so much better. Good Lord. Yeah. How long did that take you? Oh, uh, well, the preparation took the better part of two weeks, but the actual painting and gel coat probably took the better part of two days. Same color, same everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we used the same red, the same bottom paint blue, and then we gel coated the white, uh, off white color. I wish I, I can't remember in my mind what it looked like when you first brought it. I know it was bad, but. Do you remember how it felt in there when we had it down to the bulkheads? Mm -hmm. We spent a lot of time on those bulkheads. Yeah, we that wasn't did. any fun at all. No. <laughs> that was terrible. I couldn't believe you were willing to get in there and do it with me because that was terrible. You know, the whole top deck, if you remember, I mean, it was like this. You, it wasn't even stable enough to. I was afraid it was going to collapse. Yeah, all I, was over there. <laughs> I was terrified watching you walk up there. <laughs> oh! Did you hear that? Maybe it won't collapse before we can get it down. That'd be nice. Yeah. yeah. Can you see? <laughs> Mm, analog dude and it's been fun a fun journey i mean i admit it's been a challenge and it's it's taken a long time but this will be one of my most memorable um, boats we yeah. ever worked on for sure hopefully we have some more challenges for you soon more memorable projects well we'll be here after three weeks of tim doing what only tim can do behind me is a fully furnished fully restored fully two and a half years poured money in, ripped apart, put back together. 1972 Stewery Houseboat. Without further ado, I present to you the Itty Bitty. Crazy, dude. So today, I'm gonna show you guys what we've done in the last four months. And I'm also gonna just kind of remember what we've done to the itty bitty since we've owned it, because this is pretty much the end line of the project. To be honest, the boat is fully functional, a little bit more than functional. She's not done. There's a few things that could always happen to a boat that you have to completely build yourself. But Tim did a phenomenal job. We put kind of like a matte finish across the whole boat. We stuck with the original colors because you can't go against Red, white, and blue. Link in description. My favorite part about the paint job that Tim did, we left the original itty bitty logo on the side of the boat that was on it when I purchased it. And then he just put a pinstripe around it. So we have the original paint job, the original letters, everything exactly how it was when we got it. We're gonna leave it there for as long as this boat is in existence. We have new drains that come off the top of the boat. We have new water tank where we can eject gray water right into the ocean and what? We have new plugs on the back, pretty much just an RV hookup, water hookups, we can fill our tanks up. We also have some of the original window. There is some air forming inside the frame, but we're gonna leave them for as long as we can. We did have to buy some fresh new bad boys, some AJRs. Marine grade windows are some of the most expensive windows on the planet. I don't really know why. I know they do have some flexing because you're going to be banging them against waves and whatnot, but they also are marine water sealed. We finished putting the lights on top of the boat. And what I really, really like, <laughs> let me grab you folks. Jason ran the wires for the lighting all the way through the handrails that are already up here. So it looks clean as can be. We got some back lights, which will help a lot because maneuvering this thing in the water is going to be insane. Moving up to the roof. 
God, it feels so wrong to get a fresh paint job knowing what we're about to put this boat through. This window, dude, this window, it's one of my favorite parts of the boat because it makes it feel so much bigger inside the boat, but holy smokes, man. I mean, highway robbery. This window alone was a couple thousand dollars and it was the cheapest company that would build this window. To get these things in here, we originally had the rounded windows and to get those remade would have been double the price of just getting a hard edge window with a hard corner. So we just cut those flat. Jason put those in, sealed them up really good. We had the old Coleman Mac heat and air on on top of the boat so we can be in here cold or warm. Also, we're running a lot of our power off this Champion Global Power Equipment. They have not sponsored the channel, but that is our generator that we're gonna be running most of everything that you will see in the interior off of. And the upper deck, finished this thing maybe a year ago. It feels so sturdy. I feel like I could have four or five dudes up here slinging rods around, which is crazy because when we first bought it, I almost fell through it like 20 times moving into the boat we have the original top door we've painted it put a couple little locks on here so we can lock the door closed then we put a fresh i believe this is starboard so it's never gonna rot it'll probably last longer than anything in the boat oh that just feels unreal coming in here and it's actually put together If you are a sub 5'10 person, you can fit in here comfortably. We cannot stand up anywhere in the boat, which is just exactly what I was wanting. So when we purchased the boat, there was a closet that had our breaker panels and everything that we needed to work on the electrical parts of the boat in that closet. Now we just have a cabinet that we can put bags and camera gear in. So if you want to rob us, just come in the boat, take a right, it'll be right there. We have. A countertop, all our countertops match completely. And then we have these little pull-up power stations, we like to call them. We're gonna be charging our gear on every single surface in here. We also had a TV put in because gravy will not come on trips if there's a good game on. Can watch the new drops of AO Fishing as a team. It's fixed in place. Moving forwards where we used to have a booth and a table that folded down into a queen size sleeping area. We just have a couch, which is pretty comfortable. And I really like it. It has these bring in tables so we can eat and we can edit here. And we can also push these tables out of the walkway when we're not using it. The only thing that's kind of a bummer about the couch right now is it's not a fold out bed. In the future, I would like to modify this thing where we can have a giant queen size mattress, maybe a king size mattress so we can fit multiple people right here. In the meantime, just throw a twin mattress in here, fit as many people as possible. I do like this though, because when we first bought the itty bitty, when you would walk through the middle, you would have to have your knees pretty much tied together the whole way. This kind of took those boots, shoved them against the wall. So we do feel a little bit more open in the boat. Maybe we can't stand all the way up, but at least we can breathe. In the very back of the boat, we have a little bit different bathroom, a much different bathroom. The laws of the water have changed over time and each state has slightly different laws. So we used to have a super narrow door that you'd come in from the side and it was a bath shower breed. We ended up putting the shower on the back deck so you can shower in nature. And we also don't have to have a drain or a runoff in our bathroom. We have a full door that you can walk in pretty much standing up with a lot because we value privacy. When you come in here, there's a ton of room in here to take care of business. This is a porta potty, so you have to deal with your business twice if you're gonna take a number two Z on this boat. The only thing we did not install in there was a fan. We really are trying to do everything we can not to make this boat rot again and also not to give the Coast Guard any places to say, you're not allowed here. We want this boat to go pretty much everywhere a boat can go. Moving to the kitchen, we have everything that the original kitchen had. We just moved the fridge from the right-hand side of the boat to the left-hand side of the boat put in the old mini fridge. It's a lot lighter than the original fridge, which sat right behind the driver's seat on this. Felt like you were in a 1970s hippie van, like an orange carpet. Went with more of a wood cabin feel in here. We're gonna be using this electric stove, so we don't have propane on here. We're gonna be running that generator up top, which should be able to run the air conditioner and everything else in the boat. The air conditioner will be our biggest pool though when we're traveling. Got our sink. 
Mm, definitely drinkable. That's just for washing fish guts off because there's gonna be a lot of fish slime, fish guts, fish bowels, body parts will be here and a lot of them and large ones, typically just large ones everywhere. It's gonna be disgusting. Probably gonna have to get our mercury levels tested by the time we're done with this. Up top, we have a Black & Decker. Can't go wrong with that. We're trying to maximize every square inch of this boat. So when we put in these ceiling panels, which look way too nice for us, but they look phenomenal. We had to leave an open area so this microwave door would actually shut and open, open and shut. Speaking of microwaves, I need to tell you about today's video sponsor, Factor. They're a proud sponsor of the Itty Bitty. Without them, we would not have been able to afford the old girl. But Factor makes fresh, never frozen, chef-prepared meals, and they ship them straight to your doorstep. Crazy talk. Factor takes a lot of pride in these meals because they put ingredients in here to help you feel good all day long. They've shipped me six different meals. I told them, hey, I love all people, but I'm a carnivore at heart. We have the chorizo chili throw her in the microwave for two minutes that's all the prep no prep they also have other options like the wellness shots how healthy do you feel right now dude one to ten I feel like i have one of those doctors that works on mess here or whatever uh -huh. fresh chorizo chili got some cheese on the side nice and melted just get her in there Mm-hmm, just like mama used to make. So if you guys want, you can go to factor75.com, use code AO50, and you can get your first box off. You can get your first box for 50% off and wellness shots for life. You can choose two or three different flavors of their wellness shots. As long as you're an active subscriber, you get them for life. That's factor75.com, code AO50, get 50% off your first factor box, wellness shots for life. Thank you, Factor, so much. Now back to the itty bitchy. Dang it! Crushed it! Till then. <laughs> Moving to the upper deck. We have the helm station, the captain's chair. Originally, there was a really cool little chair that folded off the wall and you would sit on it. But with the condition of this entire boat, I thought it would be dangerous to put 225 pounds. 250 pounds on a 1972 hole. We ended up just building these little platforms for the captain's and the co-captain's chair. We have pretty much a full range of motion, except when you take a cup holder to the kidneys, which is fine. You just gotta make sure you turn with head and not as much back. We have the Speed Demon steering wheel. I know a lot of people wanted to see the original, look like a pirate ship wooden steering wheel in here. I wanted to, I ended up breaking it off camera and it broke my heart and then when i showed my wife the boat for the first time in like a year she came in here she was like oh where's the steering wheel it's the only thing she said i do miss that steering wheel and in the future we might have one made and just put it on here because it was so iconic we do have brand new gauges so we can see our miles per hour our rpms our temperatures volts everything can be managed from right here we have all our switches which is just so fun to do. Go ahead and just test the wiring real quick. We have our anchor up front wired up, which still works. It's 50 years old and we have an electric anchor. We also have our left and right fuel tank so we can control where we're pulling fuel from. And then up top, we have our lower ant fish finder so we can know what depth of water we're in. We got a, oh crap, radio in case we're in really bad situations. Throttle right here beside me so I can max this puppy out. Go ahead and throw it about 45 miles an hour, maybe 50, you know, tail walking a little bit, kind of the game plan. Before we go to the front deck though, beneath floor two, we have this set of stairs. You guys saw us working with Jason. If you fold this bad boy up, oh yeah. We have everything that you might need to work on with this boat. Our water tanks are up here. Our batteries are back there. Our gray tanks, water pumps, electrical breakers, everything that you need to work on, you can reach right here, which is super convenient. You can fit in here without having to tear the entire boat apart to make sure you're functioning properly. Beneath our seat platforms, we have just some open cubbies. We can hide, you know, illegal substances and firearms, depending on what borders we're crossing. Up top, 
This is where our air conditioner comes in here. Cool air drops. The whole team's some sweaty boys. So we're gonna try to have this cool air hit us in the face, drop down to whoever's chilling in the back, whoever's severely motion sick. We'll get some cool air on them. We have some Bose speakers throughout the boat. That's us, boss. We have boss speakers throughout the boat. Commonly mistaken with Bose speakers because of quality. Moving to the front deck. We have the original door, which is probably gonna come back to bite me, but I just wanted to keep a couple random parts of the boat. And I know that that's gonna be slammed more than any door in the history of doors. We have put all the original windows on the front back. We did remove where the propane tank was sitting that fed into everything in the boat that used propane. Got that gone, we're electric and we're generator now. Added a light so you can fish to your heart desires. We have the old Minn Kota 50 year old anchor. The same hand railing that I thought was dangerous. It's still dangerous, but we still got it. Have our headlights and then just open space to fish and do whatever you want to up here. Okay. That is the entire review of the fully furnished, fully restored itty bitty. It's time to shut my pie hole. We're taking this thing to the lake and we're water testing it for the first time in like 13 years. Two and a half years, ladies and gentlemen, has led us to this moment right now. You guys have seen every square inch of her, everything we've done to the boat from the beginning to now, all the issues, all the problems, all the setbacks. We're finally here at the ramp, ready to get dipped in. We've never started the Yamaha. I've had it started one time, but I wasn't there. So this will be the first time I see the motor run. My heart is beating out of my chest. I don't even know how to feel. And we've worked on that bitty so long and there's always been a finish line that got moved back over and over and over. And to be at it, I don't even, I didn't even know this would ever happen. I just knew we were gonna keep working on the boat. I'm gonna have my man back me in. I'm gonna hop in there, hopefully start up the boat. And we're finally gonna water test Diddy Bitty. Alrighty, three, two, come on, girl. I think we're good. All right, go ahead. Hold up. God, we are deep in the water. <laughs> I don't know how much further we should back in. Stop. Oh God. Oh baby. Come on girl. All right. We're about to see if we can plane the old girl out. We're idling out of the marina right now. Lake is calm, dude. It is the perfect day to do this, so. There's no excuses if the old 150 can't get her up. I don't have very high expectations, to be honest with you guys, but here's the hope. There's videos of people skiing behind this thing. Man, the throttle is a little stiff. God, it feels so wild just driving this thing. It's like I saw it in a shop so much that I forgot that it was a boat. All right, that's about 2,500 RPMs, give her just a little bit. We are, we are plowing. We're gonna try to follow the, the break-in period for a Yamaha 150, but at the same time, I don't know how much patience I have. I think by the end of today, we're gonna see if we can play it around. I feel like one of the biggest problems we had with the boat was the windows. There's just so many points for water to come in and ruin everything. But I will say when you're on the water, having this much visibility is awesome. But I stepped forward just like digging into the water. I feel like we have a little too much weight up front. Come on, baby! 
baby. We are rolling. Are you kidding me? We are rolling. You get 100% ski behind that. 100% water sports will be done. Holy smokes, dude. We're moving. We're topping out. We're topping out at 25 miles an hour. Are you kidding me? They're like 27. Doesn't sound that crazy if you've never been on a boat. 27 doesn't sound wild. But to be in the itty bitty going 27 just sounds dumb. Dude, we planed her out. She planes. Everybody was saying like, dude, you're probably never gonna plane this boat. They were wrong. They were very wrong. We're gonna take the next couple hours and just break the motor in, go through all the protocols that we've already completely shattered. But I feel like we've earned the right just to enjoy the boat for a few hours. Burn some gas, smell some fuel. On shark, we rock. Time to go off. I'm gone. Two says goodbye. I got a world to see. And my girl, she wanna see Rome. See, so make you a believer now. Nah, I never ever did it for a throne. That validation comes from giving it back to the people now. Nah, sing this song, and it goes like Raise those hands. This is our party. We came here to live life like nobody was watching. I got my city right behind me. If I fall, they got me. Learn from that failure, gain humility, and then we keep marching. Can I we said, go back. This is the moment. Tonight is the night, we'll fight till it's over So we put our hands up like the ceiling can hold us Like the ceiling can hold us we go back, this is the moment Tonight is the night, we'll fight till it's over So we put our hands up like the ceiling can hold us Like the ceiling can hold us Well, I thought it would only be fitting to stand and bask in the glory of this bad Larry in a field with you guys to finish this thing. Two and a half years ago, I sat on the roof and I asked you guys to get me to 100,000 subs, which to me back then sounded crazy. And right now we're sitting at like 647,000, which is just ridiculous. You guys are freaking awesome. And when I started this thing, I knew we were down pretty bad, but I thought we could just you know, put a put a cot in the back, maybe slap a different oil filter on there and call it a day. And I was very wrong. 
I was wrong in every way possible. I've had more issues with this thing than the internet will ever see. But because you guys supported me and the boat for two and a half years and watched all of our updates, even if they were spaced, you know, four months apart, I could have three babies right now and not told you about any of them, theoretically. We have a lot of big plans for Lady Bitty and I wanna take this to some places it probably shouldn't go, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna film it and I'm gonna show you. I wanna put some fish on there, rub down that stewery with things that have never rubbed it down. But before we finish, thank you so much for supporting me and this old girl here. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I will see you on the next one.